You are looking at a live picture from our Carillion Skycam overlooking Roanoke overall. A pretty nice afternoon shaping up for folks in Roanoke, okay? So we do still have a few showers around. Roanoke, you saw clouds and rain this morning, then midday you started to clear out. Then we saw some clouds during the mid afternoon hours and then we're starting to see a little more sunshine right now. So there's a breakdown of what we had out there in Roanoke today. Here's a look at the radar picture and just a few of us right now seeing a few showers. So overall, it looks like we're going to see maybe the chance for a few more showers from now through maybe eight, nine o'clock. After that, I think we are all dry. Our first stop will take us into Rocky Mount areas near Franklin County uh, areas near, say near Sontag Road, McNeil Mill Road, Loop Road. There's Rocky Mount right here just south of there is where we have some heavy rain being reported near Chestnut, Chestnut Mountain Road. Uh, this activity is moving to the east, maybe a slight jog to the east southeast at 30 miles per hour. Then you head farther up to the north and we've got a little more rain being reported out across parts of Highland, Bath, even into Allegheny County. These are very small little cells, but among these cells we do have uh, a little bit in the way of some moderate rain. Bigger picture showing that this is a front that is impacting us right now. This front is going to continue to, I think, uh, drift through the, our region for the next two to three hours providing us that chance for a few more stray showers or thunder showers. Nothing big, nothing significant with the heaviest rain out to the east of us. Future tracker showing that overnight we are looking at uh, a few showers from now through about nine. After that, we should dry things out. Going to actually see skies clearing out a little bit. Could have a little bit of fog developing a little bit later tonight. And then on Wednesday, may start out with a few leftover clouds and again, some reduced visibilities by around probably 11 o'clock in the morning. I do think we're going to be mainly sunny. This computer model wants to generate a a slightly higher concentration of rain than what I'm expecting tomorrow. OK, this is pinpointing the chance for some isolated thunder showers Wednesday afternoon. At this point, I'm not buying it. OK, I think tomorrow we are dry. I think we are dry heading into the evening hours tomorrow. But as we head into Thursday, we are looking at the chance for maybe a stray shower early in the day with maybe a better chance for some hit or miss thunder showers as we head say beyond two o'clock. Right now it looks like Thursday's chance for rain is at around 40 or 50 percent. We're going to continue to stay on the unsettled side as we head into Friday. Here's some information for you on the Great American Total Solar Eclipse. We're going to continue to give you this information here over the next couple of days. Just know that none of us here in our viewing area are going to be in totality. If you want to find totality for a minute or two, you need to head towards the Great Smoky Mountains of North Carolina, Andrews Murphy, North Carolina, for instance, uh, Knoxville or areas just south of Knoxville, Tennessee, also towards Greenville, South Carolina. Those areas will have totality. We will not, but here's some information nevertheless in Roanoke. It, the eclipse actually begins at 12 minutes after 1 coming up this Monday, August the 21st. We are looking at the maximum eclipse at around 90% around 240 in the afternoon and then the eclipse ends right around 4 o'clock. Temperatures stand for us right now, 82 in Lynchburg, 84 in Danville, it's 77 in Withville. Hurricane Gert continues to churn in between North Carolina and also Bermuda. Right now, it is still a hurricane with winds of 80 miles per hour. It will likely continue to move into the North Atlantic and fall apart as we head into the latter part of the work week. We're watching another cluster of showers and thunderstorms just to the south and also west of the Cape Verde Islands. National Hurricane Center gives us about a 40% chance of development here over the next couple of days. We'll watch not one, but two different waves that uh, could develop into something here over the next five days or so, but uh, nothing to be too concerned about right yet. Overnight lows tonight in the 60s to near 70 with some fog developing later tonight. Tomorrow we're partly to at times mostly sunny, very warm. Highs mainly in the 80s to near 90. Your extended forecast mid to upper 80s for the foreseeable future. I think we're unsettled Thursday and Friday with scattered thunder showers around. For the most part, we're dry Saturday through Tuesday. I will say that we could have some clouds around on Monday for the uh, Great American Total Solar Eclipse here. Uh, uh, so we'll keep an eye on that. I don't think it's going to be a fully cloudy day Monday. Mm -hmm. I also don't think it's going to be a fully sunny day here on Monday. I think we're going to be partly sunny, which means we're kind of in between that. Okay?